you guys. So, um, had a really sad, um, experience here on the homestead. And, um, these things happen and we learn from the experiences. And this was a tough one. So, um, if you guys recall, back in September, it is now February, um, it's now February 5th. Is it the 5th? Yeah, the 5th. So, anyway, back in September, you might remember that, um, I was trying to breed our um, rabbits and they were showing absolutely no signs of interest whatsoever um, and we decided to let them stay out of their cages and be in our um, where is it <laughs> good lord it's camouflaged right over there um, our dog kennel, our 10 by 10 dog kennel. And they were being bunnies and having a blast and, um, digging and burrowing tunnels and creating big old hills in there. And we just let them do their thing. Right. And I figure, well, if they get pregnant, they get pregnant and they'll probably have them down in the tunnels. And then I'll notice that there's babies because they come out all of a sudden one day. Right. <clears throat> well, last month, we had the bomb cyclones hit here in California that just literally did a lot of damage. Uh, a lot of rain, like more rain than we see in one year happen in a matter of a day and a half. And so, while it was pouring down rain, I got the the bunnies and got them back in their hutch to get them off the ground so that they wouldn't drown basically or be sopping wet and um everything was good a few days later we had to take our son to the airport to head back to college after his winter break we left and of course it's in the middle of winter so it's cold out right and, uh, so his flight was going to be early in the morning on a Friday, I believe. And so we drove to the airport the day before and stayed the night. And the next day dropped him off at the airport and, um, and then busted butt back home. It was about a four, four hour drive, a little over four hour drive. And <clears throat> got home and everything was fine. Uh, checked on all of the animals when we got home. Again, everything was fine. And it must have been between then and the following day. So I believe that night she had to have given birth to six little baby bunnies and because we had no idea that she was pregnant there was no nesting box for her to be in and no uh, bedding for her to have babies in and she gave birth to them on the floor of her cage and all of them froze that night my husband found them the next day when he came out and was putting down some straw in the chicken coops because they were just muddy as could be from all the rain we had had. And he happened to look over and see all the, all the baby bunnies dead. He 
You might want to look away now, but I'm trying to be as real as I can and share our experience with a photo of what we were met with. Um, so that was back, well, the very first part of January. So we are into February now. I've given her some time. Now that I know that they will actually breed, I'm going to breed them um, today, hopefully. And hopefully I can watch him actually connect and fall off of her at least two to three times. And we'll consider that a successful breeding. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you some of the things that happen on the homestead that you just really don't expect are going to happen. And they teach you some valuable lessons. And um, I mean, who would have thought that it would have taken them from September to figure it out? The, the whole... Obviously, it's a wives' tale that bunnies go at it like bunnies because September to January? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I thought maybe they were too old or something because I've had them. This is like my third, third year, third or fourth year with them. Anyway, so we're going to give it a shot and... Um, and hope that we can have a successful uh, breeding. I absolutely love uh, the Broken Sable Standard Rex. They are super beautiful. And um, I need a couple more to give me some more of their poop. Because it's like amazing uh, fertilizer. So, what are you talking about, young lady? <laughs> Uh, so anyway, that's what we're going to attempt to do today here at the Bunny Hutch. The Bunny Hutch of love. So we've got our boy, our, our, um, our buck there and then our doe there. And I'm just going to move her into his cage as you never move him into hers because she can be, uh, females can be territorial. Although they've been together before, I don't foresee anything negative happening, but as you know, we had a negative here and it was devastating so um, I'm gonna set you down and I'm gonna introduce her into his cage and we'll see what we can do how adorable is this little girl hmm how adorable is this little girl yeah mm -hmm. all right here she is Hi, babies. Go see him. He's like, what's she doing in my cage? Say hi. Hi. Look, buddy, she's turned around ready for you.
He's cleaning her. <laughs> He's being so affectionate with her. <laughs> now go do your thing. He's probably telling her how sorry he is that they lost all six of their babies. Yay, good job, buddy. That's one fall off. Good job. Good job, buddy. There's two. Want to have at least three, three times where he falls off. And that should be a good successful breeding. So he's going to clean her up a little bit. I mean, it definitely could have been successful after the first one, but from what I understand, you should let him do it three times. So we're just going to continue to sit here and wait for that final one. to 32 days we should have some baby bunnies. <laughs> I think he's pretty proud of himself right now. <laughs> yes. Oh hi. Two might have been okay. We'll sit here a little bit longer and see if he's going to show any more signs of breeding. And if not, then we'll go ahead and move her back out. Or we will capture him mounting her one last time. Make her get up, buddy. Yeah, you gotta make her get up, huh? Is everything okay back there?
Oh, she's getting up for you. Come on. No, wrong end, buddy. <laughs> wrong end, buddy. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, there you go. Get up for him, girl. Come on, get up. She's backed into the corner to where he can't get at her. Yo. He's like, move over. You gotta get up for him, baby girl. He's trying to get his third time. All right, we got her out of the corner. Now let's see if he can do what he needs to do. There we go. Good job, bud. Good job. What do you think? Were you successful, buddy? <laughs> Alrighty. The buck did his job. And the doe hopefully is taken. And we will have baby bunnies in about 28 to 32 days. Stay tuned.